What's up guys, welcome back to Worship Lead, it's Andrew here. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to play the song Give Thanks by Hannah Hobbs. Stay tuned. All right guys, so Give Thanks by Hannah Hobbs is originally in the key of B. The tempo is 72 beats per minute and the time signature is 6 8. And for this lesson, I'm only gonna show you guys one way how to play it and that way requires the use of a capo. But before I show you where to put the capo and what chords to play, I wanna show you the strumming pattern first. The strumming pattern for this song will remain consistent throughout the whole song and with pretty much each section of the song. The strumming pattern that we'll use will go something like this. It's going to be down, up, 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 down, up. That strumming pattern again will be down, up, 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 down, up. And what I'll do with this strumming pattern is I'll play it at full speed and then I'll slow it down right after. This is the strumming pattern at full speed. And this is the strumming pattern at a slower speed. If you struggle with the strumming pattern, no worries. Just practice it whenever you can and you'll get it. So now that we have the strumming pattern down, I can show you where we're going to put our capo and what chords to play. So we're going to place our capo and place it on the fourth fret of the guitar and play our key of G chords. And with our key of G chords, we'll be using a total of six chords for give thanks. So the chords that we'll be playing will be as followed. It's going to be a G chord. D. E minor, or E minor seven. C, or C at nine. A minor. And the last chord will be a G over B, which is like our E minor, but we're gonna lift our middle finger up and play all of the strings except for the low E string. So to start off the song, we're gonna go ahead and play the intro and we're gonna start off with our first chord progression, which will be an E minor. C. And G we'll play that chord progression twice for the intro. So the intro would sound something like this. So then after the intro, we can go straight into the first verse. And for the first verse, we will play a different chord progression. We'll play the following chords. It's going to be E minor. C. G, A minor, G, and D. And we'll play that chord progression twice for the verse. Also for the first verse at the very last line that says saying thank you again and again, we're just gonna repeat that last line of A minor, G, and D. With grateful hearts, So then after the verse, that will bring us straight into the chorus. And for the chorus, we will play a different chord progression. We'll play the following chords. It's going to be G. D. E minor. And C. And we'll play that chord progression twice for the chorus. The chorus would sound something like this. Give thanks for the Lord is God. His love endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord our God. His love endures forever. 
So then after the chorus, we can go straight into verse two and verse two has the same chord progression as verse one. So no changes there. After the second verse, we'll go back into another chorus and that's the same chord progression as before, no changes there. So then after the chorus, we can go into the bridge and for the bridge, we will play a different chord progression. We'll play the following chords. It's going to be C, D, G over B, E minor, C, D, and E minor. So we'll play that chord progression twice, but on the second time around, instead of playing that second E minor, we're going to play a G where it says, thank you, Lord. But on the first time, we'll play an E minor. On the second time, we'll play this G. Hey guys, just really quickly, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, it would mean so much to me if you did. If you can, please hit that subscribe button down below and the notification bell to keep updated for future videos. And if this lesson has been useful to you, go ahead and hit that like button. It would mean so much. So the bridge will go something like this. Oh God. So then after the bridge, Hannah Hobbs goes back into the chorus for just two more times and then she finishes the song there. And we can ultimately conclude the song with a G chord. And that's pretty much how we can play Give Thanks by Hannah Hobbs. All right guys, so that's the lesson for Give Thanks by Hannah Hobbs. I hope it was useful to you. If it was, don't forget to hit that like button down below. If you guys have any other song recommendations or requests that you wanna see for future tutorials, I would love to see those ideas, leave them down below. But overall, I hope you found the video helpful and you liked it. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and hit the notification bell for future videos. Keep safe guys and I'll see you in the next video.